Good morning. Welcome to Table Talk. We are happy to have you with us today. I'm Sandy and with me today is Anna. So <laughs> happy to have you with us. Hope you all enjoyed a wonderful Thanksgiving and are deep into the Christmas spirit. Yeah. So <laughs> yay. Yep. Yeah, Christmas. We have to remember from the Christmas busy to get some of the Christmas spirit as well. Yep. Yeah, so, that's true. Um today we're gonna be talking about wool. But we'll show a new, few new things that have come in before we get diving into the wool stuff. Mm -hmm. Anna took a class yesterday with at Willow Hill I Yarn. We did. Oh, we did. Well, I did the little bunny, but there is like, and sorry, he's a little unfinished. <laughs> but so but yours are so cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's teaching that class and. There's so many animals. Oh. The lady who makes them, and I couldn't resist. I came home of with, course. like, let's see. Oh. That's the bunny that it's supposed to be, the clothing. Oh, are you going to make clothing for Yes. It? The and clothes are I so got cute. a girl elephant. Uh, all her animals come with boy and a girl version. Oh. And then the Is little a, a piggy. Little <laughs> I actually got yarn for the piggies, Did so <laughs> I have to do the piggies. So and these are but, knit? Yes, they're knit. knit. And I think she has class in December. I don't know if uh -huh. there's openings and stuff, but I'm pretty sure if you guys bombard her with phone calls oh, that she, you want to do it, she yeah. will get you another <laughs> I think class. This, these are so popular. I think she has yeah, classes she, going all the time. All the time and now you need to know it's how to do the knit and pearl stitch and mm -hmm. then she will guide you through everything else you need to know now did so, emily teach this uh-huh yeah oh, i yep. love it so and somehow it happened that i'm the only one in the tuesday class <laughs> <laughs> So, small so, class. so you get lots I, of I get, attention. Yep, I get to know her and get one-on-one, yeah. on one, but but I think she usually, her classes are for people, yeah. so it's not... So it's, yeah, you, you just, get a lot of attention, you know, one-on-one yeah, on one help. Yeah, and, she's right there with you through the whole process. And, love oh, it. And oh. I got some extra clothing. So it's cute. a jumper and overall. So cute. So... So that's from like, Emily at Willow Hill Yarn Company yep. here in Gardner Village. And so, you can find her website through gardnervillage.com. Yep. She's fabulous. So. And then I, before we get really yeah. to the wall, I'm working on a wall project, but I'm not doing it with a wall. So oh, we're so kidding cool. this for the store. Is this a butter? Yes. Yeah. Butter. Not basin. <laughs> yeah. So we're kidding this and I'm doing it with cottons. Oh. And I'm still doing the same technique, the appliques, the same as it's done with the wall and that was cut. Yep. So I have all my pieces cut, the rest of them inside. So I just need to center them on the background and then yeah. I use, I do it by machine. So I yeah. use my blanket stitch on my machine. So that's all it's gonna for be me. so cute i'm like <laughs> all, all for you you're always like <laughs> so well, much i always do us. stuff and but... you're working on many things i know so oh, um okay so i'll show you mine hasn't been quilted yet so our quilter comes today so this is just um, oh. a simple um patchwork. patchwork flannel so it's that yummy soft flannel from riley blake this is tasha noel's um, flannels this year so and I just did six and a half inch squares and we have kits for this and I'm gonna put some minky on the back yeah, it's gonna be so I just think my little cozy grandkids will just love to snuggle under a little minky Christmas quilt. she has this in 100% cotton well. yes we yes. have the whole collection yeah. in cotton and then there's some of the prints were done in flannel okay so no. yeah so I just decided to take them all and just do a simple patchwork. I think we still have enough yardage if you want pajamas. Yeah, oh, and yeah. it'd be so, so cute for Christmas jammies. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it cute, be cute to do a little Christmas jammies with the quilt? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. That would be cute. <laughs> more projects. Yeah. One more item on the list. And then we have this super simple quick project for Christmas. It's a panel. Yeah, it's, right? it's a panel. panel. Yeah. So it's just a panel quilted and bound. Yep. So you can either take it to the quilter or uh -huh. quilt it yourself. Quilt it yourself and yep. So 
just a little it's wall a warmer. warmer. So that's a fun little project. We've shown popular in this has been that tree skirt that we did. We've sold, oh, that yes, sold the so tree well. skirt. And then we have and the pens. advent calendar uh -huh. sold pretty quick. Yeah. People are coming now asking for no, it. it sold out like, a long sorry, time Sorry, <laughs> it's been gone for a while now. Yeah. So those were a couple mm -hmm. new things. Um, oh, Kathy, so before we end, can you get that other quilt I just finished? It's upstairs. I'll show that later. Oh, the plaid. The plaids. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then, and I'll show that later, but this is one that I did. I started it night before last after work, and then I finished it up last night. So cute. And this is a buttermilk basin pattern. And mm -hmm. I've done it on, mounted it onto this tea towel. Now you could just put it on a table with a pot and, oh, you, you know, can do reverse you could do reverse image. and do it like a table topper by putting it a little further down yeah. i'm going to be making it into a pillow so i'm going to fold it in half i'm going to sew it together along the bottom then turn it right side out and put seams here put my pillow form in it and then that will be done and this is the done with wool applique which comes together really, really quick cool. Really quick, I love that. Okay, Kathy's got this other quilt for me. Okay, this one is, what's this one called, Kathy? Uh, something flat, I think. Something I, I flat. don't know. Uh, I can't remember. And we have kits for this. Don't flat me. Grab one of the kits back. I think they're back there, Kath, aren't they? How's those little squares? How are the they? The little nine pack. The yeah. squares were not hard because they are done. You do a strip piece. The strip, yeah. Okay. Strip piece for the nine really... patch. Um, well, they're not back here. Oh, aren't they? They must be they upstairs. Been put together yet. Okay. Um, so this little strips here, they were the, it, it was not hard to sew. I just had to think about the placement because mm -hmm. there's a few pieces that are directional. And so I just had to think about the placement. Yeah, but, when we were looking at the pattern, Robin and I were like, you kind of have to lay it out before you cut yeah. it. Yeah. So, so it'll be, I'll yeah. have a picture of exactly what I did, you know, the act, what I did in okay. the quilt kit. Oh, that will be easy. It'll be easier. So yeah. then you can just pick out the, the 10 inch stacker, stacker squares that are going, the going same this way. direction, you know. So anyway, yeah. but that was fun. I like this, you know. The plaid. Yeah. I haven't decided what I'm going to quilt on this, but some snowflakes, snowflakes or something like that. Yeah. And this is from um, Heather Mulder Peterson's fabric collection. Winter Wonder. Winter Wonder. Oh, yeah. It is. yeah. Yes, it is. So that one is done. Okay. Oh, new in the store. Those are so cute. They're so cute. Cookie cutter ornaments. This is by It's So Emma. Oh, how many are there? 12? Are there 12, I think? Let me, let me see. Yeah. I, I like check Christmas ornaments, mm -hmm. the cross stitch ones, but I've never like wanted to make them. Uh -huh. But this one but this is But this one like, is, they're very ah. cute. <laughs> they're very cute and doable. Yeah. I look at them and I'm like, yeah. I could do those. Well, and if you finish them this mm -hmm. way, it probably is kind of easier mm -hmm. because everything will be hidden in that little tin. Yep. Yeah. So but. those are cute. That's brand new in the store. Um. I think that's it. Let's yeah. talk about wool. Oh, this fabric collection. Oh, yes. You want to talk about that when we show your stocking? Yes. Okay. Well, we have a new collection in song, songbook. Uh, no. uh, a new, new page, page. Yes. right? Okay. Like, the full over. name. Of it. Songbook, a new page. This is a new fabric collection. Now, I wouldn't think this for Christmas. However, no. yes. Emerald, come on around here, Emerald, and show us what you <laughs> did. So because I, sh I kind of share it to our Saturday post about like I look at free patterns mm -hmm. and then when their fabric come in I just start thinking what I want to put on it yeah. so this is what I did I, I, I like their color together that's yeah. why I chose all these together so cute and so, so there will be a link oh yeah it will for be. this pattern right yeah yeah so so I mean a Christmas stocking that can match your decor it just looks elegant yeah you know yeah, I love, love it. I love their colors. I'm like, it. yeah, it doesn't have to be Christmas fabric mm -hmm. or Christmas colors. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's pretty. Beautiful. Thank you. Pretty, pretty. So, yeah, we'll link it. 
Yeah, so that's a new collection that comes in. There's always new fabric that's collections those, coming yeah. in. There's a couple behind the counter. There's yes. a couple behind the counter that we don't have room to put out yet. So they're just sitting back there waiting for me to yeah. make room somewhere. But um, so that's fun. So before we go to wall, I kind of want to mention we have gift registry now. Oh, yes. And so I will put a, an image in this video and then like... It's like an Amazon gift registry. Right. You can share and your people, your friend can search for your name to buy you gifts. So you put out all your gift list. They just search wow. for your name. Okay. Yeah. You can buy it. Or your husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you don't have to like, you know. Yep. And if your husband comes into the store and says, my wife has a registry, here's her name. We, we could even it. look it up for him. Yeah. And then she probably have like five or six or 10. 12, you can, whatever. Yeah, you can just so put like, anything yeah, that you, you would be interested anything. in and yeah. any price point and someone can go in and purchase. So that's yeah. a new thing we've activated. So that's kind of cool. That is yeah. cool. We know that, um, so we're open on Christmas Eve. And what is Christmas Eve? It is man buying gift card oh, day. Yes. Oh. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> yes, it, it is. is. <laughs> man I do not know Man that. coming in buying a gift card day. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great because they're buying something their wife they know that she'll like. Yeah. So I don't blame them. I, I don't either. Probably the easiest. It's yep. like sometimes like I like. Okay, where am I going with this? Like originally, I don't didn't like gift cards, uh -huh. but somebody I made a quilt for them, and I was not wanting anything, but they did give me a gift card for a quilt store, and it was the best thing ever because. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to feel guilt when I went to spend yeah. the money. Yeah. It's like, it's not that I'm not allowed to spend. Right. I, I can spend. I don't have a budget. But it's like, it was like, oh, I can buy this. Yeah. And it just, it doesn't come from our, you know, from our money. Your budget. It's yeah. like, yeah. it's just, it it's affects like, me. You get something like that and you're like, okay, that ruler that I wanted. Yeah. But it's like not necessary. Yeah. That I maybe it's, wouldn't have bought for myself. Yeah. But so it, yeah, it was yeah. it was a very nice gesture and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Fun. I was reading on um a blog yesterday a gal that was talking about how they did Christmas and I was like, oh man, she was just they how they did their Christmas morning and stuff. I was like, she looked sounded just like she grew up in our household, you know, how they yeah. did their presents and stuff. And she says her as her kids got older, um she started wrapping up they just wrapped up everything just because they wanted to draw it out longer so she yeah. says i'd buy their favorite cereal that i would have probably bought anyway <laughs> she's like i'd wrap it up and put it under the tree because it was just like carrying you know carrying it on yeah. and i remember unwrapping a loaf of banana bread from my mom oh because i love banana bread mm -hmm. and it was like my loaf of banana bread yeah not to share. to share the family <laughs> loaf of banana bread but it was like and that small thing yeah it you know, makes yeah the your little, mom is a great gift giver she is a good gift giver she she like she has 10 kids so then she gotta yeah. like figure out each of them yeah. oh my mom did christmas up crazy so my son my oldest he moved away and you know, like uh -huh. we all know, when you move away, your Christmas you, now slims down a yeah, little. Everything and they're financially, you know, doing okay, but mm -hmm. pretty. They, they don't have extras, right. so we ask him for Christmas, like, okay, do you want us to buy you gifts, or would you like money? Yeah. And I was kind of surprised because my son's like, well usually i would like gifts but this year yeah we'll like money <laughs> you're like <laughs> but, but shopping yeah. done <laughs> but, no i i didn't yeah. think they appreciate gifts like that but i think my mm -hmm. husband did it because he always puts too much that if you ask me into too presents. much thought into him yeah yeah because it has to be uh, something special something mm -hmm. towards that kid mm -hmm. and it's like it always likes drugs which it's nice but it's stressful yeah to do it because he puts a lot of weight yeah. on what he's getting yeah, yeah. so but that's yeah sweet, so though. i guess they do like getting that's the sweet gifts. you know uh, i would say the majority of husbands knowing from my brothers <laughs> my brother-in-law you know yeah. there's a lot of them they don't always no. put that thought you know he, he, he does you know? he does he, i mean it's, he likes yeah. to make it special and that's cool and, so. that's cool but Love that. So the That's kids nice. like it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Uh, let's show some project. Okay. So 
Christmas, of course, is yeah, is wool fun time. Really, I mean, you can do wool There's... projects for any season because you're not like wearing it, so it doesn't matter if it's summer if it's a wool. Applique or yeah, something. there is a lot, but yeah, for Christmas, but Christmas there is ooh, there's so much fun. Christmas so, stuff. you can combine wool and cotton, for instance, on this little Christmas bag. This is a pattern by Hatched and Patched, and it has wool applique all around the band of that bag. You have to trace everything. So, I trace the embroidery. Oh. I mean, I didn't trace like, okay, so when I'm doing hers, I don't trace like all the little tiny yeah. squares. Those I just kind of look at the pattern and wing it because it's just easier than trying to cover well, up your stitches. they're random. Yeah, and they're just kind of random. And your applique is just put on. I This one was so fun to do. This was so fun. So you've got that combination of cotton and it's, and it's appliqued onto cotton background. Yeah. You're not always appliquing wool onto wool. So, yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. It's... So that's that one. Can we, I ask mm -hmm. a question in between? Fusible, yeah. Fusible. Okay. So you're talking fusible web. Yeah. I. So you can do it with fusible web and I would use a lightweight because you're going to be stitching through it. Uh -huh. So heat and bond light, um, mm -hmm. light steam seam, something like that. It's nice because it places your, you can place your pattern pieces and lay them down and iron them in place. It also does help a little bit with your edges, not it's too fraying. not fraying a little bit Especially as you're stitching. Those five inch square. Yeah. When you're cutting it, it frays a little. A little bit. Yeah. And so depending on how tightly felted it is, the wool, sometimes it'll fray more. And usually it's those textures that will fray more. Mm -hmm. Your wools oh, that yeah, have a texture the to them. They're yeah. Um, and so that lightweight heat and bond or shape flex, whatever fusible web you use is nice. You can do it just with um, freezer paper, using your freezer paper to cut Trace. out your pieces and then you take your freezer paper off. Um, and then you don't have any of that fusible behind it, which is nice for stitching through. Um, but I usually use the the stabilizer. I, I use soft fuse. Yeah, soft fuse. So, and if you're not familiar with those techniques, I'll use this big piece. So it, it's like it, the thing comes with paper on both sides. So you, no, it doesn't come with paper on both sides. Mm -hmm. the, there is the fusible on one side that you place it on the back side of your fabric and you iron it. And then you peel the paper and you have the sticky part here. So when you like place your piece on the fabric and iron it, it will stick. Yeah. It's like a double-sided yeah. sticker. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah. You make stickers with your fabric. Yep. Yeah. So I, I use soft fuse, it's which is nice the to stitch same. through. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know with my friends, we buy a whole boat and mm -hmm. share it. Yeah. So. <laughs> And both they're on a row usually, yeah, but row. yeah, but yep. I don't know, it's kind of yeah, so that's what we use, okay, okay. and yeah, so and then, then so I'll show you some different products. So I showed you the cotton one, there's um, and when stitching, you can be using 100% wool, and then there's wool felt, okay, so and we've talked about wool felt before, but it is less expensive considerably than, than wool. But um, it's nicer than your craft wool. Felt. Yes. Okay. Craft wool felt or craft felt, not wool felt. Just craft felt is not the same as wool felt. They will melt. It will you... melt. Yeah. It will mm -hmm. stretch. It will. It's just not. Buy it for your kids. Buy it for your kids <laughs> to play with, but you don't want to be creating a project with it. So <laughs> this stocking here was done out of 100% wool, okay? And I love working with the wool. So this one I made for my grandson. But this same designer, this is one of her patterns that she made, um, and this is done using wool felt. So you can do either. So if you really like this pattern, you know, series, um, and I'll show you a few of them from it, you can do them with wool, or less expensive, you can do the wool felt. 
And can I add in something? Uh huh. I think when you're choosing wool, you're having more options of those textures. Textures, yeah. More option in texture than in your, you don't get your plaids and such in your wool felt. No, yeah. So, um, you or would get more solids. These. You know, yeah, you wouldn't get these checks and plaids and yeah. such. But these were super fun to do. You can mix and match too, though. Yeah, right? yeah. you can mix it's, up. Uh huh. It's, yeah. They're also about the same temperature when you iron it, yeah, so yeah. you won't have too much. Uh, yeah, wool can get super hot with your iron, and it's not gonna do any, do anything to it. I have a broken iron, uh -huh. so I bought that wool mat. Uh -huh. I think I burned a little corner of it. Did you? Because <laughs> it was overheating. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my iron in it, so yeah. I have an iron, iron shape, shape on it. On it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you think you had an Alyssa that was going to well, raise itself? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That happens. <laughs> and I do have the mini Alyssa, but the mini Alyssa doesn't, doesn't raise. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so we've done stockings. There's little, I've got a couple little um, pink, cushions. pink cushions or bowl fillers yeah, or, you know, and these are buttermilk basin. Now this one, I did wool on the front. This is wool on both sides. Mm -hmm. But to save some money, I just did cotton on oh, the back, it's... you know, so I don't have to have, I just had to have one piece of the wool for my front. So that saves a little bit. Okay. Um, another question. Uh -huh. So you will have time to time, you have to trace those patterns. Do you like trace on the fusible? On oven? the fusible web, you trace it on. Okay. So for instance, when I was tracing these letters, oh, some, yeah. You're tracing them and they're backwards mm -hmm. because when you put it on the, when you then iron it on, then when you iron it onto your projects, it's the right side and or the right almost direction. Almost all the patterns do come reversed, right. but not Let's read their little Read their instructions because yep. they'll tell you if mm -hmm. it's not. But, um, and some things, it doesn't matter if, if like it's here, reversed. it doesn't matter if my trees is backwards you know yeah you go in the other direction in my house so my house is on this side or like whatever. this snowman too yeah wouldn't matter wouldn't matter because it's pretty much symmetrical. but your letters they matter yes yeah. <laughs> your letters matter so um but they're just fun i love stitching with wool i love i doing that i have the santa the turkey in me or whatever yeah. it's called but i haven't started haven't started it, it yet yeah <laughs> um, can we show a little of these? Yes. Mats? Okay, so, so these are candle mats. There. Emerald, that's darling. You did this one? Yes. So. I didn't like follow all the colors they right. have. Well, I you love don't that. have to. Yeah. That's the fun part. Yeah, you just get a fun part. Don't have to. pattern and then you can choose your own color. Yep. And then your mom made the other ones. Yeah, for so Christmas. this my mom made me a whole set of these for the seasons. Oh, nice. For Christmas. And she used bead for those. So yeah, this one she used beads, and this one too for the snow. Instead, instead of stitching of it, French knots. yeah, yeah. Instead of French knots, she used little beads. Yeah, I like which the super sparkly cute. Yeah. effect. And then I just have a little votive candle that sits in the mm -hmm. center. Yes, I have one of those ones that flickers. That's not oh, a real yeah. candle. You know, yeah. Hey, it sits it's in the safer. Center. Yeah, it's safer. <laughs> and, yep. Then can I flex a little? So then, so come back here, Emerald, and show this cuteness. <laughs> because I was. Did you design? Inspired. No, I found so a free pattern again on DMC, but it was for cross stitch. So oh. I expanded a little bit to this that's, size. That's so cute. So you took a cross stitch pattern. Yes, and then this is what I want to show you about using wool. I uh -huh. use the stacks here. Let me show you. I use these stacks. Oh yeah! So they have like different colors and texture of those trees, and then that's great for your Christmas tree because it's gonna yeah, be, it's just gonna be different. and it's a nice variety because yeah. these five inch squares, you're gonna get a lot of a five yeah. inch square. Yeah, you know, and then if you like the color combo, it's great. Yeah, yeah. So you mixed wool felt and wool. Mm-hmm. Cute. Yes. This is super cute. That is very cute. And converted from a cross stitch pattern. Yes. And you'll put the link in. I, for the DMC, I will. Yeah. Oh yeah, pattern. I will. Because this is off of DMC's website. Yeah, if they offer free patterns. Yeah, free patterns, and you converted it to wool. I love it. How creative. Thank These you. are charm packs. 
um, my primitive gatherings. So you can buy wool by the yard. You can buy it by the square. Some places sell it by the ounce, some, you know. So we have it in little fat eight cuts in lots of different colors. I just grabbed a few of them. And these little stackers, I love, this one is perfect. This one's called uh, Holiday. Yes. And it's got those Sorry, beautiful, a and mix of actually, threads and Actually, I greens. noticed the other day, they're not all the same. They're not all the yeah. same. So one Holiday to... will be a little different yeah. than the next stack. Still kind of the same coloring, but coloring. the patterns yep. and the textures yeah. are different. So yeah. And so like this when one I was is- pricing them, it's like, yeah. wait a minute. This one is sage. <laughs> so this is sage yeah. and it's just got, it's a great way to get the variety without Mm -hmm. spinning so much so yeah, yeah if you like greens uh we have two sages and they had different, different stuff in patterns it. So yeah to the different plaids you kind of have to come and look yeah. at them and yeah so, yeah, just like, it. yeah so you could pick up you know because a lot of things you might need a bigger square than a five inch square for your background mm -hmm. but that's for where all your I little could, pieces you like on use, emeralds yeah all those little tiny pieces can be from yeah, these, you get these. a lot more variation. Yeah. So, and we have them, I've pulled just some of the darker Christmas ones. We've got them in pastels. So this one, the emerald is called Pastel Textures. And this is more for- like, And this Easter one is just kind of... pastel. Yeah, I love the, Super I don't know, the texture. And, but they're all those hand dyed, Yeah, yeah. you know, really nice. So I think one of the reasons why I haven't gotten into wool is because you guys already know I'm scrap obsessed. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I know in wool, you even like a half an inch scrap, you yeah. can use it. Yep. So I'm like, I can't get into another thing that I have to collect out the scraps. So they look so, those little tiny wool scraps. In a jar. In a jar. You, you do that, so right? you could, And you it's... could even do them by color, mm -hmm. but yeah. And then they look so cute. Yeah, maybe someday. Yeah. I don't know. When you have it's... enough space for jars. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I need to kick more kids out of the house. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was going to show this too. So this is the pattern. We haven't got it back yet. Um, Nicole, Nicole's making this. Okay. This is Holly Jolly Christmas. Cute pillow. And it's done on the black toweling. And we so have cute. those kits in the store oh, there was wool that have the well. toweling and the wool and the buttons and everything in there. Yeah. So, got those in. Some great books on wool. Lots of books. Yes, yeah, so Ornament Extravaganza 2. This is from Buttermilk Basin. I like her sizes of mm -hmm. all these. Yeah, these are some great ornament projects but you can't you don't have to do an ornament just hanging on a tree you can put it on a board Display. you can tie it on a jar a cookie jar yeah. and have it hanging from it or a, a canning jar um, just fun and then this is her first one which was ornament extravaganza There's and so many it's got things. so many great projects in it and then she's dot Christmas at Buttermilk Basin. And this, so these are ornament size projects. This has pictures and little mini quilts and you see all, the, all kinds of projects. all kinds of projects in that one. And she okay. usually includes her pet. I mean, the thing you can trace. In yes. The bag yeah, that's the all bag. in in your book. Yeah. You've got in the back. You've got your patterns for tracing and everything. All your instructions. So. That's a good one. And one of my favorites came out this year from Martin Gill Press. Let me put this out. It says Stitch, Share, Gift, Repeat. And it's just got the cutest little projects in it. Um, just a fun, oh, like, oh, so look cute. at this guy. I know. <laughs> Snap, right? Yeah, and you can. And he bends. Yeah, yeah I'm, he's so cute. I want to do him. Um, <laughs> Have we sold it to you yet? Yeah, have we sold you on it yet? Oh, I've been sold. I oh, look at this cute project. Oh, that is stuff so, for gift cards. This or, is for, oh, for it's a sewing oh, needle book. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. For your scissors <laughs> and your, I know, right? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I'm a sucker for sewing notions yeah. and stuff. And oh, the snowflakes. The snowflakes. Oh. 
Yeah, those definitely beat paper snowflakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or yeah. the ones on your windows. Yeah, yeah. the little plastic clean ones. Oh, that's stocking. It's adorable. Sweet little stocking put candy oh, canes in. Oh, it's so cute. Anyway, this book is just <laughs> chock full of just fabulous projects and then if you buy one you get to keep it for forever you got 40 projects yep. to do anyway yep. i think my mom has done multiples from she did ornaments for the granddaughters last year out of this one uh -huh. um i think i gave her this one this year to work on they're just so many fun projects they are and it's I'm good like ah oh. yeah it's good for my mom <laughs> where she's sitting with my dad um and she wants to be by him instead of well he wants her by him instead it, of in yeah. her sewing room <laughs> and oh. so this wool applique and stuff is stuff she can do sitting in her chair while they're watching tv and yeah. stuff so um that's the fun thing about that oh and the, this one she's she did this one for someone last year oh those are like these are the, tiny yeah they are it's tiny like what are two, they like two, two inch inches? square i think oh so. yeah those little that's tiny little like, projects what, oh, they're so cute and they're 101 different Wowzers. patterns in that book 101 projects so but very doable so you need to show your bears okay so oh, yeah. i'm also going to show now the little bears and we have that goldilocks fabric that just came in oh my goodness we need to redo him the i need dresses. to do his dresses and stuff in yes. the new fabric collection oh, yes so this do. is my pattern and the bears are made out of wool and then the clothes are out of cotton. Do we have that quilt that we can show with that new um, Is locks? it still behind there? I think it might be. I'll go the different options for that yeah. bear. Yeah. Okay. So this is the new quilt from Meigs and Me with her newest fabric collection called Goldie. And it is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I know there is like... Goldie has the a house. The doll house and Goldie's in it. And the and bear prints oh, are the bear's so cute. Is Goldie? No, no, no it's Goldie, Goldie Locks. Locks. Oh, okay. It's the girl. But That's... it's just got some fun, fun prints. And this quilt pattern is by them, by Meeks and Me. It's yeah. called Honey. Now, so this one shows him with a balloon. And we have kitted it with the balloon, but you only need scraps, so you can do either one of them. But this one has the honey jar and the bees honey flying pot. around so and it's cute. so adorable. So but if you buy the kit and you want to do the honey pot instead, basically they just need a little fat quarter of one of the golds, right? What, not I mean, even because they even can use some of the scraps, scraps because we have provided yeah. a bit Ample, extra. Yeah. But you, there have three more options. Well, you've seen the balloon, the honey. There is the one with the fish and the flower. Oh. Wow, so, so, so cute. But you also can change it any way you want to, yeah. but you have those four options that come with the pattern. And she's got so, some other adorable yes. patterns that go with it's, this collection. So this yeah. was fun to have come in. So I want to do the bears. I just want to make new clothes for them. Yeah, I mean, that will be And they're very pinned cute. together right now because they go in my display, but they are individual. The in the pattern, yes. They're yeah. individual patterns. And the pattern has the bears, and then it also has the clothes. Yeah. The clothes. Oops. So. Let's see. Yep, they're adorable. They're on my bucket list. They're super easy to do. <laughs> but I just think mm -hmm. put it with this, and I've got a little bed upstairs, a little antique oh, baby yeah, you do. doll bed that we could do a little doll quilt. Put our little bears. Yeah, you need to do a little do display. A display with yep. this line and so cute. So okay, so we're back to wool. We're gonna talk about <laughs> some of the stitches. Because there are so many blanket stitch in wool, mm -hmm. we want to demonstrate that. Okay. And then we can demonstrate like this on this. Yeah. Or if you just fold it. So I'm gonna show you there's a couple most of it is done with either a blanket stitch or a whip, whip stitch. stitch. So I'm going to show both. I'm going to show the difference. So I'm going to do the dark on here because then you'll be able to see. Okay, so a blanket stitch. So there's my starting. I'm going to come over just a bit and take a dip into my, and then I'm coming back with my needle back out right at the edge. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm doing a big blanket stitch just so that you can see it. I normally would do a smaller stitch, not in as far as I have here. And then you just keep going around and around. And that appliques your piece now. Is Let's this see. how she so did it? On, let me show you. On this one, I don't know if you can see the blanket stitch over here where the thread variegates, so it's a little lighter. This is blanket stitch here that, you will see that I've applicated on. But these smaller areas, I've just done a little whip stitch, okay? So you can blanket stitch your piece down. And I would not normally be taking this deep of an arm on my blanket stitch. I'd be, you know, doing a little smaller. Okay, a whip stitch is different in that all you're doing is taking a little tiny stitch in, coming out on the other side, and you're doing this with matching thread, okay? Yeah. And you're usually just trying to, to not match show it. your thread to the to the wool. Yeah. And you're just taking that little whip stitch to applique it down. So it's just a simple little stitch. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was doing a blanket stitch, my blanket stitch would only go in just a little bit further than that. It wouldn't be this yeah. wide. So it's super simple applique because your edges of your wool or your wool felt, you don't have to turn them under or anything. This yeah. is so a whip stitch, right? Yep. Okay. Can we show them blanket stitch again on that yep. one? Okay, so it, it, it can feel a little different to uh -huh. start from time so, to time. So where I'm starting here, I'm thinking I've got this line here, okay. Mm -hmm. And so I will not come down here. I'm going to go over a little bit and come up. And I've come up inside that. Now, if I pull my thread, I'm going to take this out. And that happens. That's just this. It's just because I didn't, I wasn't inside that. Nope. There we go. And so to continue stitching on, and I'm probably upside down now, because from what, maybe that'll be. So you're taking the leg of your stitch. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> so then when I'm done, now usually I'm going around something, so it's going to end up mat, you know, matching up, but I'm just going to tack it down. And then that's the full length of your blanket, yeah, that's blanket, blanket stitch. stitch. Yeah. And that's what I did around the truck or the back, you know, the car, but then on my, and I think I did it on the black, you really can't see it, it's on the black, but um, for the snow here, and I think I even did just a, a whip stitch on the brown. So, I may have done a blanket stitch. I can't, no, just a whip stitch. Um, but you can see most of it, these textures really hide your stitches. You don't even see that. I've stitched the gray down. Um, yeah. And this variegated thread, you can really see the thread here because it changes color, but you can't really see it when it's over here. But. And so, like a lot of time, I feel like blanket stitches to help the little fraying part. Right? And it helps. Yeah, my black was fraying a little bit. And so I ended up doing a blanket stitch. You yes. kit it up a little easy project. Oh, I did. I almost forgot. And it's like, like I said, I haven't done all projects, but I kitted that, so I have the right to show it, right? That's right. <laughs> yes, because you know yeah. all the pieces. Yeah. Sandy designed that last year, and it's a quick, quick easy little cool, yeah. project. And the leaves, I was like, when I was looking at the pattern, they're like so easy and mm -hmm. fun to make. Yeah. And they're, I don't know. It's a cute little project. So, and I didn't, app, you know, they're not appliqued down no, all around, just in the center. No, they're only stitched with three stitches, yeah. it seems like, in the center. So, 
Yep. And this yep. has been, so we had this out last year and it's mm -hmm. been out all this year and it's, and people keep asking fine. for kits and finally we have kits. Yep. So we have some kits ready for that. Yep. That's going to be very quick yeah. project. So, okay. So it will be today's video and then we want to give them oh, yes. a giveaway. So as we do every week, we have a giveaway. So this week, um, the question is, is there a wool project you'd like to start? And if you haven't tried wool projects yet, tell us what size of the projects attract you more. Are you like attracted to doing a bigger project or something mini? I'm I, not necessarily the size. Mm -hmm. But I'm like trucks a lot. Yeah. And buttermilk basin. Oh, she has yeah. lots buttermilk of trucks. Basin has lots every of month. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. has different series, not just every month. Yeah. She has different Whole monthly different. series. Yeah. So um, we have a customer. She just showed us that she has bigger trucks. Originally, mm -hmm. she had those ovals. Yeah. The little, and now she, and I'm like, oh, they're bigger ones. She's maybe that's that what will get me into it, right? <laughs> so what was your, what did you... Your, applique on this is fabulous so you did do blanket stitch on this mm -hmm. and you did that by hand i always struggle a little to start the stitch that's lovely thank you i love the little french knots in the trees so Just cute to show a little bit yeah yeah love it okay. but did you show oh, what you give so, them away yeah i guess show them <laughs> so actually anyone that comments will get a pattern for believe in christmas everybody everybody that comments oh whoa we're not even like okay where's my phone and i'm they're commenting now <laughs> yep anyone that places a comment if you are in town we will have the paper pattern for you to pick up if you comment and you are out of state we will email you a pdf okay wow well, so nice. merry christmas merry everybody. christmas so <laughs> and you know i've done this in really bright like it's got that pink kind of a yeah. fuchsia pink and stuff, but you can tone it down. You can do uh, yeah, it, you can you know, do it more traditional yeah. if you want. And to, if you do or... stitch this in in different colors, I'd love you to share yeah. it with us. That does love to see it. Like yeah, yeah, it would be cool on black. It will be. Yeah, or that chalkboard. Yeah, yeah. So, leave us a comment, get a free pattern, and thank you for joining us for Table Talk. We will see you next week.